call if I open the phones and say, how can you make that statement, Bill, when you just told us that our founding fathers were members of these secret societies? Very simple, folks. Read the writings of the founding fathers. They will tell you themselves. This was a great experiment to see if man was capable of ruling himself. And if he was, this would be the culmination of the great work. But you will also find in their writings that they understood human nature better than any of us do or probably ever will. For they knew, they knew that with the keys built into the Constitution, we would give up our creator-endowed rights and trade them for benefits from the state, thus relegating ourselves back into the old, the old position of owned property. We would become indentured to the state for accepting these privileges. But they knew that people did then, as they do today, except for a very few people who really understand and appreciate freedom and understand the responsibilities and the consequences that go along with it, they understood that most people spend the first 20 years of their lives struggling to become responsible and to be accepted as a man or a woman in their own right, able to be responsible, strike out on their own, build a business, sign contracts. And once they discover the responsibilities and requirements that freedom demands, they spend the rest of their life trying to crawl back into the womb, searching for a daddy, a daddy to take care of them. That's why socialism is so attractive to most people, ladies and gentlemen. It tells them they no longer have to be responsible. Then in exchange for their freedoms, Daddy the State will take care of them. Daddy the State will give them a job. Daddy the State will pretend to pay them if they pretend to work. Daddy the State will provide them with some sort of a hovel in which they can live so they don't have to worry about paying the rent. Yes, Daddy will even change their diapers and give them clothes to wear. Daddy will tell them what time in the morning they can go out on the street and what time in the evening they must be inside their hovel. Daddy will discipline them. Daddy will make sure that there's no crime to threaten them. Oh yes, many, many people will love the New World Order and the New World Religion and the new world of entertainment that will be erected in place of the old Roman circus in order to keep the populace entertained and diverted. Mindless libraries will be filled with the new history books and the new politically correct dogma of the new politically correct world and the new politically correct religion. And everywhere you look, you will see the symbols of the generative force, the phallus of Osiris, the representation of the old god of Babylon, Baal, Nimrod, Isis will be everywhere. You see, for Osiris is the doctrine, Isis is the church, Horus is the great body of initiates that will rule you. They call themselves wolves. And of course, of course, dear listeners, you are the sheep, the legal and lawful prey of the wolves. A nation or world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden, and yes, stakes on the table by choice and consent. If we didn't love you here, we would not say these things to you. Please wake up. Good night, and God bless you all.